talked about how Gutenberg uses uh, the concept of blocks to add content and as you hover over them you'll see it describes what kind of a uh, block that you do have. For example we have here a paragraph here we have an image uh, right here and we have other paragraphs going on down. Now the way you add paragraphs or the way you add new blocks to your con to your content page is you have a little plus icon here which if you hover tells you can add a block so you can actually add a block and call this a, a heading surprise so we can have a block here which is h2 or it can be h3 or h4 and if you're wondering why we don't have h1 in this particular block it's because the hierarchy of the HTML has already been covered. They expect that uh, most of your titles already, your page title will be an H1 or so. So the next um, uh, uh, hierarchical heading you should have is an H2, H3 or H4. So we can add more blocks like for example a heading here and or we can use this small plus button on the side and say well, now we would like to add a list and the list is going to be of uh, ice cream types. Uh, we have caramel, we have vanilla, we have strawberry, and we have our block there, which is just a list block uh, in here. Now, you'll note that there are so many types of blocks um, in, in our Gutenberg editor, and they are categorized. So we have those that are most used. As you use a particular block, it will push itself into this section. We have the common blocks, which are the common content types. And intuitively, you've been given uh, what happens when you use a particular block here. So if you hover over the file, you'll see what happens. If you use the cover a block, you'll see what means or the audio. And even these other ones that do work with formatting. So you're able to see a small preview of what will be uh, basing on the block that you actually add. So those are the two ways of adding uh, your blocks into your page. The final one is a bit one that I really love because sometimes I don't know what I'm looking for but I'm hopeful that, that block is there. So when I hit enter to add you'll see that there's the small plus button comes for me to add the block but I want to be specific. Let's say I want to add a Twitter block in my page. So as I type the T, it starts filtering and I'll see that I actually have that block coming out. So I can embed here a URL from Twitter that will actually be seen, which will actually reflect the, the particular tweet that I do have. This is not only for Twitter blocks, it can be for any other kind of block. Uh, so I could, let's say, enter here and then I'm going to look for Facebook maybe. And then when I click it, it prov it provides for me a link that I can add there. Um, maybe I want to do a gallery. So as I type, just thinking of what my content will be allows for, for me to choose a, a particular block. And once I add all that information, you'll see that it will intuitively place it for me. Now... This doesn't only stop at adding content, you can actually drag and drop your content. Maybe you don't like where this is placed. So when you select that block and hover over the small six uh, icon, you can actually drop, drag and drop this. Sometimes it's a little bit uh, hard. So you need to wait until you get that blue line and you'll know where you're placing. Or if you find that a bit of a pickle, you can just use the small up and down arrows to move this as far as you want it to go. So once you're done with that, you hit save and you're good to go. So that's how we add blocks in our Gutenberg posts or pages. If you want to remove content from your post and pages, you can actually... When you click on a particular block, you can click the three icons, which gives you more options, and you can remove that block. And you can do the same for the others.